Good morning, everybody. It is day one of Booktubeathon, and I'm in the car going to the gym. I have not read a single bit so far because, yeah. Um, and I did not read any of the Shell Seekers like I said I would do yesterday. So I have to finish, I have to start with that one, but first things first, I gotta go to the gym, and then I gotta, like, you know, deal with the aftermath of the gym. And um, I was gonna have to make my, refilm my book haul because I didn't really do a very good job when I filmed that one yesterday. So I'm gonna refilm that and then I get to start reading. So I will see you in a few hours. For me, it's gonna be like half a second for you. So uh, see you then. Well, I am home from the gym and I'm clean and like showered and have straight hair again. Um, and I've already, I went ahead and filmed my wrap up slash book haul and I've edited it and I'm currently waiting for it to upload um, and process so I can add all the metadata in and then post it live. So that should be up soon. It'll already be up for you because you'll, this is like days ago. So, but that means I have some time because it's only... 73% uh, uploaded and then it has a process which takes about 15 minutes or so depending on the day but it's a longer video because it's a book call and I got a lot of books um, so anyway that's processing so I figured what a perfect time for me to actually start reading on the booktubeathon so I'm going to be reading the shell seekers or hopefully finishing it because I really want to move on so I'm gonna do that now and I will see you in a bit. So it is currently five minutes to 10 and I've only read 150 pages so far today. I'm not going to bed yet, so I am gonna continue reading for a little bit at least, probably until about 11 or so. Um, I don't think I'll get the 180 some odd pages that I need to read to finish this book. But I'm hoping I can at least knock out a decent chunk of it and then finish it first thing tomorrow morning so I can start with book number two. So day one, right now I'm only at 150. But I'm hoping that'll go up to at least like 200, 225 maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully. So, so I'm going to get back to reading and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. For my time, but for you, it's like a second. All right, bye. Good morning. It's day number two. I ended up reading another like 50-ish, almost 50 pages last night. Um, so I'm not still not done with the Shell Seekers, but I will finish it this morning. And then I'm hoping I can jump into the selection and go ahead and knock that one out as well. Because it seems to be fairly short. Um... Or fast, at least. I'm hoping I can at least finish Shell Seekers and get through most of the selection, if not all of it, today. Um, today's challenge video is to recreate a scene, and I'm thinking of doing Twilight because I have this whole, like, Bella hair thing on point. Uh, and I wanted my fiancé to be Edward because he kind of looks like Edward, but he refused. So I'm going to have to do it solo today. But that's okay. Um, and then you can also check out, I'll put a link to my domino challenge in case you didn't see it, where I did the Deathly Hallows, which was really fun. I'm going to get to reading. It's like 8.15 in the morning. I've been up already for like an hour and a half, almost. Um, and I haven't read yet. So I'm going to jump into that and hopefully finish the, the Shell Seekers finally. All right. See you in a bit. Well, it's now 11 o'clock in the morning and I've just finished the Shell Seekers. I'm still on the couch. This is the same place I've been for like the whole day, almost. Um, but I finished the selection. So two days in, two books read. Not a bad book to, to read in a readathon because I definitely read it in one day. The only thing now is that I want to keep reading the series and I have other books I have to read. I have to move on to other books in the TBR. So, sadly, I cannot continue with America Singer just yet. I'll have to wait a little bit. Anyway, it is like 
20 now. So I think I'm going to go and lay in bed. So I'm going to go. See you tomorrow. As you can see, I'm still in my favorite reading spot on the couch, but it is noon now on Wednesday, day three of Booktubeathon, and I have started Sex Criminals Volume 1. This I'm reading for the read a book without letting go of it challenge, so I'm I'm holding on to it. I start I'm like two pages in. I just started. And I was like, oh yeah, I need to film an update. So I'm filming an update. I'm hoping, I mean I have to knock this out pretty much today because I can't let go of it until I knock it out and I don't really want to sleep holding on to a book because that will not work. So I'm going to do that and then I'll probably start reading Black by Ted Decker afterwards. Um, depending on how long this takes me to read and what else is going on in my life. But we will see. I'll check in with you in a bit. Hi. Uh. Is 8.55 on still on Wednesday. I just did the tower challenge and uploaded it. It fell everywhere the whole time. Like we tried to do it in the middle of the um the room from the floor to the ceiling, but it, it we couldn't get it to stay. So it it fell over. So we had to put it up against the wall. But that's okay, it was fun. I didn't want to miss out on a challenge, but I don't know. I wasn't really feeling this one today. I wasn't really feeling that great. I didn't get a lot of reading done. I did finish the read a book without letting go of it challenge with sex criminals. I did finish that one. I gave sex criminals like four out of five stars. It was pretty good. I liked it. Um, I'm not like super into graphic novels, but I did enjoy this one. And then I decided to go ahead and start Black by Ted Decker, which is the read a, the last book you acquired challenge. Um, so I'm not very far in that one. I'm only like 7% in. I'm reading it on my Kindle. Um, so I don't know how many pages it is, but it's 7%. I'll probably read a little bit more. I'll probably read for the next like hour, two hours and see how far I get. Uh, well, I've spent the entire day. It's like 3.30 <laughs> p.m. and I have not read at all today. I read a little bit more of Black last night, but I maybe got like 10 or 20% the way through I don't remember I'll put it at the bottom um but yeah I have not read it all today because this morning I had to go and run some errands um getting some stuff for school to get ready and then picking up my wedding invitations from my mom's house or so I could hand write all the addresses so I spent like the last like two hours doing calligraphy I had to buy like a calligraphy pen because I don't remember what one was and I felt like Harry Potter dipping my pen into some ink a little bit there but it's very impractical, like pens are so much easier. Um, and there are ink droplets like half the place because it would get caught, so that was fun. Keep that in mind if you ever, you know, think that Harry Potter's got it all. Like, they wrote with quill and ink, like really? Ink pens? So much easier. But anyway, so I finally finished that, so I think um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put down black for right now. Not that I'm not enjoying it, because I am. But I'm not that far into it yet, and Trina from Between Chapters and I are supposed to be doing a buddy read of The Martian during this readathon, and she is ready to start it, so I figured I could put a pause on Black and read The Martian instead. And I'm very excited about it, and that'll fill my challenge of the first, the last name begins with the same first letter as mine, so there you go. Um, I'm gonna go get my afternoon snack of some vegan sausages because they're delicious and my coffee and I'm gonna sit and read. Good morning, it is day five of Booktubeathon and I am reading The Martian by Andy Weir. Yesterday I went to bed with like 164 pages read and then I just could not read anymore because it was, you have to like, I, I'm really enjoying this book, but you have to kind of, like, think a little bit when you're reading it so you can process all the science, and science is not my strong suit. Um, so I, I just couldn't, I couldn't even process it anymore and last night, and I was like, I'm going to bed, I can't do it. So I'm going to read, I'm going to go ahead and do this, try to finish this out this morning, hopefully. Um, I'm about halfway through. So, I'm hoping I can finish this out this morning and then I can jump back to Black by Ted Decker 
or I can jump into All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. One of the two. I have I kind of figure like whatever my mood's on at the time. I don't know if I'll get to American Gods this week because it's very big and thick. But that's going to be the last one that I tackle if I decide, if I get a chance to tackle it. So anyway, I, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning or something. Um, so I'm going to jump into reading and yeah. So I just finished The Martian! Yay! This was really good. Um, I, I give it five out of five stars. It was so fantastic. Um, the story and I just, the way it was written, it was captivating it was very sciencey um but it didn't even matter like ugh, it was so good so good and now i really can't wait for the movie so i'm going to take a break from reading for a little bit and like stretch and probably eat something because it's only like three yeah it's like three or five um i'll eat a snack and then i think i'm gonna go for all i know now Net when I pick up the next book because I feel like that one's a little bit lighter and this was it was really good But I mean it's heavy like I wanted to cry. I didn't cry, but I almost cried and then I know that Black is very like it's got a lot of detail and it you have to wrap your brain around some things and my brain hurts My brain hurts from thinking about sciencey stuff So I'm gonna take a break and read something later lighter later and okay good morning everybody well sort of yeah it's 10 25 um and it is book tubeathon day number six so it's today and tomorrow and that is it in the book tubeathon so we're almost done i'm getting quite tired <sighs> but i only have two books left to hit seven books so two challenges left to complete and that is the last book i acquired cheating one whatever and then just the seventh book oh i'm still shooting for seven books i don't think i'm gonna get to american gods because looking at it it's quite a chunker so i'm probably just gonna read not a drop to drink instead or the elite because i'm kind of wanting to continue that selection series but we'll see last night i did finish all i know now by carrie hope fletcher i gave it four out of five stars so yesterday i read like 527 pages or something crazy like that i read a lot yesterday all right it is book tubeathon day number seven it's the last day of book tubeathon it's been a long week it's been a long week of reading. My eyes are, like, tired. Yesterday, I only read 134 pages because I kept, like, falling asleep. I took, like, two naps yesterday. It's ridiculous. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna finish a book and a half today. That would make the seven. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I, I could find something short, I'm sure, to do it. Um, I spent a lot of time coloring yesterday instead of reading as well so i don't know i'm hoping that i can at least finish black i'm 50 percent of the way through so i'm hoping i can at least finish that today and just call it a week with six books instead of seven it's it's like two, 1 15 and i'm just now getting down to reading um so i don't know and then at we have our family dinner on sunday nights which is like we go to our friend's house and we rotate houses and like cook food and like watch HBO it started because of Game of Thrones and it just doesn't stop it's been going on for a while um so it's really fun but that's like seven to ten so I don't know if I'll get a lot of reading done afterwards but we will see um so yeah I will see you tomorrow probably for my full-on wrap-up of the week so yeah and by tomorrow I mean like two seconds for you Man, it feels nice to be back in my chair in front of a camera that's not my phone. So, uh, I'm just gonna very briefly recap the last week for you. I know you've just finished watching all of my little vloggy updates, but I thought I'd go ahead and give you kind of a quick little summary of the week and what challenges I did and did not meet where I left you off, you were still wondering whether or not I would finish black, 
and if I would complete the challenge of reading seven books in seven days. So let's see what I accomplished. The first book I finished was The Shell Seekers by Rosamund Pilcher and I gave this three out of five stars and this book completed the challenge of read someone else's favorite book. Next up, I read The Selection by Kira Cass. I think I also gave this one like three and a half out of five stars. And this fulfilled the challenge of read a book with blue on the cover. Next up was Sex Criminals by Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. I read this one for the challenge of read a book without letting go of it. And I believe I gave it four out of five stars. After that, I picked up The Martian by Andy Weir, which was my favorite book by far of the week with a five out of five star rating and one of the best books I've read all year. And this fulfilled the challenge of read a book with an author who shares the same first letter of your last name. And I get bonus points because I said so because I actually matched the first three letters of our last names, they match. So boom. 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 After that, I picked up All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. This was a my challenge for read a book you really want to read, basically, is kind of the one I let this work for. And I did end up giving this one four out of five stars, though I think if I were younger, I would have given it a full five. And finally, the last book that I finished was Black by Ted Decker, and this one fulfilled the challenge of read the last book you acquired, even though it's not technically the last book I acquired anymore. But at the time of me thinking of it, it kind of was. So, and I ended up giving that one three out of five stars. By the time I finished last night, I really only had about an hour to an hour and a half left before midnight, so I didn't have the time to pick up the seventh book for the seventh challenge, which was just read seven books. So I think overall it's a pretty successful week. Although I only read six of the seven books, I think that six books is a lot to read in seven days. And I'm quite proud of myself for doing that. I also completed five, I think, of the seven challenges for video challenges. So well done me. I'm proud of myself. So go me and go you. Let me know how in the comments below how you did over Booktubeathon and your favorite book from the week. And that's it for me today. Welcome back to the world of like life again. <laughs> and I'll see you next time.